how to become a fat burning beast. Your body uses two types of fuel sources for its body, glucose from carbs and fat. And those are the two fuel sources that it loves to use. Now, glucose is preferable when you need quick energy, like maybe a spin class or chasing your kids around the yard. The problem with carbs, folks, is it produces inflammation and inflammation opens the door for most diseases. Fat burns way cleaner. So excess glucose from your carbs or having high carb meals, not healthy, try and avoid eating only carb meals. Now the reason is because when you eat only high carb meals or high calorie dense meals, it causes your body fat to be locked in storage. And the, so that your body must burn through all of your carbs and glucose first. Now that's critical folks. I want you to understand what I just said, because for those of you that are battling to lose the last 10 or 15 pounds, if you shifted the percentage of carbs you ate in a day and you lowered them a little bit, or you only ate carbs for your lunch and your dinner meals and not for breakfast, I guarantee by having a little bit of that reduction in, in your overall glucose and carb intake, your body will get through all those carbs a little bit sooner and your body will start burning fat. So unless you are extremely active or you're gonna have a hard crushing workout, eat carbs. If you are not and you're, you're basically gonna be working all day or say you're not feeling well or you're not gonna be super active, you don't need the carbs. Stick with le uh, vegetables, mostly leafy greens for your dinner and your lunch and obviously other colorful vegetables, the full rainbow of colors from vegetables. And you'll notice that over time, without you changing anything else, your body will start to burn that excess fat off. And you'll notice how much leaner you are in the weeks and months ahead. So here's a sign to know if you're carb dependent. You have difficulty losing weight. You have energy peaks and valleys and crashes. You're hangry, I used to get hangry or you have food cravings or sugar cravings. So if you have any of those signs, folks, you're probably carb dependent and you gotta figure out a way to shift the amount of carbs you're eating, eat a little bit more healthy fat and a little bit more lean protein and you will, all of those signs will evaporate over time. And remember, the goal is to become fat adapted so your body's able to burn fat efficiently. Now, another fancy term or a lot of the term that scientists use is becoming metabolically flexible. So your body can burn carbs and it can burn fat very easily, very quickly. So on days that you're super active and you're eating more carbs, your body's okay with that. You're not gonna create a ton of inflammation. And on the other days where you're not as active, your body will burn fats for fuel. That is basically how you get lean and how you stay in great health. So I hope that helps folks. My name is Coach Glenn. I help busy parents make better nutrition choices to lose weight, create a better quality of life so they can meet their grandkids. I hope to help you. So if you found this information useful, but you're a little bit confused as to where to get started, reach out, uh, we, we can talk, we can create some dialogue, we can figure out where you're at, where you need to be, and I can help you along your path to better health. Have a great week folks, take care. We'll see you again next Tuesday.